Welcome, of course, everyone to Juno Suede Official. We're gonna do a reaction sort of feedback in regards to something that's very sensitive right now in Thailand. As you know, or if you do not know, well, most likely you're if you're watching this video, you're from Thailand, so there's a chance that you know. But nonetheless, if you're watching this video and you're not quite sure what's going on in Thailand and you're like your Western um, subscriber, um, like from the US, the UK, Australia, even the Caribbean, I'm um, right now in Thailand. There's protests. Um, mainly against the government and I understood also that there the, this protest is somewhat towards the monarchy of course um, now I know there's a strict Thai law which says that you know you're not supposed to um, criticize insult um, defame this sort of things towards the monarch um, so we're gonna check it out now guys I did get a message um, um, in regards to section 112 um, it says what is section 112 section 112 is the section in the Thai criminal code which criminalizes and punishes less majest in Thailand so basically basically less less see less majesty um, is in regards to that um, law where you can't insult or can't defame or can't um, speak bad or criticize of the monarch the king and the royal family basically the law allows anyone who threatens defames or insults the monarch and related members of the royal family to be criminalized and jailed for three to fifty gosh fifty years fifty years I'm um, right um however um it's not towards the government, so I am. I, I believe the people in Thailand have the right to protest um, the government, or if there's something that the government is doing where majority of the people do not think it's fair. Um, they have the right to protest. Protest is not a bad thing. It's, it can be done properly. You just have to get permission. Rioting is bad. Rioting is where people destroy and damage people, person's property, and that is not good at all. But persons have the right to protest. Most time, persons protest is when they're against something that's either. Um, being passed in law or something going on with some leader or some corrupt member where generally society is not accepting it but the person don't want to step down so usually people use protest as a mean to say that they're against this or they would like this to be done or basically also to get the attention of people around the world um, which is what this protest is basically doing right now and um, it says here what is what's so problematic about section 12 1112 there's law itself Extremely harsh punishment, equivalent to involuntary manslaughter. Um, unclear definition, the act of insulting the royal family um, has not been defined clearly. It is too broad. I think there should be a clear definition for um, insult because persons could just use the word, anything you could say, which could be a good thing or could be a way to build. And it, somebody could just say basically it's like um, insult, but it might not really be insult, okay? Um, it's categorized on the crimes against national security. Um, this allows the government to prosecute the accused easily in the name of protecting national security. So I guess that is where the government perhaps is um, mainly using this law um, against some of the Thai people. Um, because people have the right to protest and I think the government should understand if the people are protesting there's something going on and there's something that should be done so that you can hear what the people have to say even if you say that okay we're not gonna do it but still you have to show the people that you care enough to listen to what they're saying and to somehow negotiate with them because persons puts you there no one born with power really somehow somebody had to fight for power to be established even with the royal families around the world not specifically thailand but around the world someone had to fight long 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 ago so that persons can be born into it but someone had to fight the government now is elected by the people hopefully um or they are somehow placed here by people generally okay um i also got another image it says here Continue, of course, what's so problematic about section 1112? It has been interpreted and used widely and broadly. Citizens are not able to understand which act would or would not be considered an offense. Anyone can report an offense, basically anybody. Because the reporter of the crime does not need to be the direct victim, meaning I could hear somebody say something about the royal family and report it, um, the number of cases charged are very high. So that means there are a lot of cases because if I don't like my neighbor and my neighbor say something, I could just report it, you understand? Which is not 
code. We shouldn't be doing this wicked act. Um, but this is what we see, I guess it is to report. Officers and civil servants feel pressure by society to prosecute all of the accused. I think when someone is accused, the right proper um, procedure should be used. If the accused, proof need to be seen. Of course, discretion can be used. Not because someone directly does something that you have to write away. Just go ahead and have them send it to jail. Um, if it's their first time, if they did it in error, they show remorse. Um, if they did it out of frustration. I know human beings do things sometimes out of frustration. Um, but we have to of course allow people the opportunity to go through the process um, rightfully and properly um, go through before a magistrate properly and the magistrate should ensure that it, the, the law is applied and that um, the right punishment is given consideration to the family the breadwinner of the household these sort of things so it's not just about someone just doing something in regards to breaking the law section 112 and just send them straight to jail for years i think discretion should be used but of course we're going to check out a video this is a long video i do apologize but um I had to read this part and basically give my views on it. But we're going to check out this video. Thailand student protest government and monarch um, from BDW News. I do apologize. Um, this video um, most likely do not have Thai subtitle because it's an English or Western network. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to check it out. I will speak and possibly I'll just try to say some things. And then, um, you know, when the person who's adding the Thai subtitle will go ahead and add some things as I'm saying. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out, of course. It's become a trademark of the opposition movement. So of course Symbol we've got the three fingers. The three no, three. Salute, borrowed from science fiction blockbuster The Hunger Games. So three finger salute is a way of protesting. University on the outskirts of Bangkok to listen to pro democracy activists. Thousands guys. Their voice to a movement that is gathering momentum wow. in Thailand. So this 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 is mainly being done by young persons because they said students our demands dissolve parliament get the government to resign fix the constitution and stop threatening people the prime so this is about the government mainly not the monarch then about people's rights he says that the premise is a business but one you don't care about people's rights because the government is eroding our rights. is that true yo you you have to do right by people man a constitution with integrity and i want those who are taking away people's rights to be out of power so she's saying she would like those who's abusing people's right to be out of power. So people are disappointed and angry at the Prime Minister. Last year he was elected as Prime Minister in an election critics saw as rigged in favor of his party and the army. Wow. But activists have also started addressing an even more sensitive issue, the role of the monarchy in Thailand. Protesters Activists are now looking towards the monarch. Of the monarchy, including an overhaul of a draconian royal defamation law, which protects the powerful king Mahavajira Longkorn. King Amma the tenth. Less majest laws in the world. Anyone who insults the monarchy. Us less majest laws. Years in prison. So why did they say 50? She just said up to 15 years, but it says they up to 50. We shouldn't have to speak using symbols. 50, 3 to 50 Direct years, not quite sure. You guys let me know exactly. So of course, some persons have been very bold and standing up. And you know, it's kind of good. We have rights as human beings. People have rights as human beings. So it's like, uh, do things right by people. Do things right by people. People have the right to life and... If you're doing something wrong, people should correct you, especially when you are in a leader posi leadership position. The monarchy in their rallies, though he said the king had asked him not to arrest anyone under the defamation law. Oh, the king asked not to arrest anyone. That's actually good. The king. Wow, that's good. So basically, the 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 the, the, the king is saying do not arrest people. Um, that is kind of good because you know. Let people express themselves. And there's a lot of people here to arrest, though, if you have to arrest people. There's a lot of people here. Um, well, in one word, it would be democratic deficit in Thailand set by the election. And um, there are um, other issues connected to this. Um, the, uh, They're mainly calling for the Prime Minister to resign, it seems. In 2016, that is seen as um, undemocratic. 
And Get rid of tax eaters. Ooh. So oh, that's why they said they don't like taxing. The, the uh, video I was reacting to earlier. Yes, to the students' demand for greater democracy. And um, at the bottom of this, um, I would see that they, we are witnessing the continuation of the clashes between two political regimes in Thailand. One is so it's also the opposition versus the current. As you mentioned, this is a continuation of uh, previous clashes that have been happening in a Thai polity. What is different this time round? Yeah, what's different? Well, the, the main difference is that the, the, the forefront um, activists, players in this conflict is um, the younger people, the younger generation. Mm. Um, the yeah, the young generation. Students, high school students who um, are hopeless about their future in the country, to be hmm. honest. Um, they yeah, are they may be... um, democratic deficits wow. in the country with economic inequality. And, with the fact that and the, the young people are getting more and more educated. So they're wiser than the generation long ago who would be totally dependent on, on or, or obey um, those in authority. But you'll find the, the, the people, the more you are educated, the more knowledge you get is the more rights you have or the more you might question things so if something's been done wrong you will speak up more that, that's basically it persons who are less educated will stay rather humble because you know but whenever more knowledge you get is more you're aware of what's being done and you're like is this right should be this be done you understand what i mean um i would say that this is a new chapter in um thailand's political history for the first time hmm. um protesters um speak about the unspeakable topic in public and they speak it they speak about this uh with with dignity and with politeness um they so people speaking out more than before democratic reform of the more separate institution of the country and i think maybe it's time um thai people start to think about that Protesters yeah it times time changes guys John Ocha, who time changes and maybe it's time to you know rethink and we and redraw year, rewrite some things in support of the government is the Prayut Chan Ocha they've government got, actually they've got two pro pro protests support and protests against I would say he remains Prayut Chan uh, Ocha as a person remains uh, popular amongst um, his conservative uh, constituents but the party that wow. it, it must be so sad he, though to be a leader of a country and people calling out for against you or calling in regards to something that you're doing that's not right. You know, one or two, but a whole protest, there's something questionable there. Something needs to be looked at, honestly. I think right now we are seeing the, we are seeing the crisis of faith in the um, Prayut and Osha regime, if you like, but not as a person. So, yes, uh, protesters are demanding his resignation as a representative of this regime. Oh. How do you see these uh, student protests panning out, Janjira? Do you expect any political change to happen? It could happen. Um, I think we, we are going to see... Uh, they sat with the head, honestly, to humble herself and, and, and listen to what people are saying. Person, um, I don't think that these protests could um, bring about the changes that, a discussion um, should be held, some possibly. Of protests, uh, some of the protesters are really demanding, um, right. for example, the uh, fanatical reform, but I think it's a stepping stone for uh, something greater. Yeah, of it's a stepping stone to, for something in the future, some change in the future. Okay, guys, so that was it, of course, um, this news report there. Um, again, basically, what I'm saying is that. Um, you know, once you're in power and authority, there will always be things people criticize. But once a whole group of persons are calling up for something, there's something going on. And um, it's a shame that there'll be someone who is in leadership position who will not humble himself and realize that what they're doing is not right or what they're doing is questionable um, or corrupt altogether. And some of them, they're aware that what they're doing is corrupt, but yes, it will continue. These things don't last forever, I'm telling you. You, no matter how much wealth you amass, no matter how, how, how much you on you ride on the back of people, it will not last. When you're given an authority and a power to rule over a country or to lead people and you're taking advantage of it and 
stuff in your pocket um you're not gonna enjoy the last penny in your pocket you're not um it's, it, i i think one of the greatest thing as a leader is to 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 walk in the street and your people can deal with you well your people give you a form of even those who don't like some of the things you're doing the fact that you'll stop and listen to them it's not just about you can't please everybody that's for sure but by stopping and listening to them and by giving them your attention is a way to show people I'm willing to negotiate or I'm willing to hear what you're saying. Sometimes they're, they're, they're protesting and what they're protesting might not even be true. But you show in leadership position and leadership role by humbling yourself and somehow willing to negotiate with people. That, that's very that's, that's an A+. plus. So I hope this settles soon in Thailand and that um, peace reigns. Um, it's very sad that this is going on. And again, so far it do not look like they're having too much against the royal family itself. Um, they may be just calling for the, the, the law to be adjusted or fixed as less majest, majest um, they're looking for it to be um, maybe fixed, maybe as I say, a um, clearer definition of the word insulting um, or, or this sort of things. Um, I think it, it, it's it's all based on human common sense. And as I said, there's a there's a greater and smarter generation coming up and they will not take on this, this BS. They will not take on being used and abused, um, especially by people in power. They will fight, I can guarantee you that much. They, they are smarter, they are wiser. As generation is coming on, they are getting wiser and they are getting smarter. I can guarantee you generations to come will be more defensive. They will be because they will be more educated, so they will be more defensive than the last one. Of course, thank you for requesting this one. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share if you want me to react. Don't forget to leave a comment below, okay? Thank you. Bye, guys.